Hello everyone, welcome to TechTo.com. So till now, I hope that you understand what is database and what is database schema. So on your local machine on or uh, on any database server, there can be multiple databases. So let's say this is database for application A, this is database for application B, okay. This is database for application some D and all these are mutually exclusive okay everything I mean there is nothing common between them common means I'm saying there is no relation these all are exclusive this is solving another purpose this is solving another purpose fine so this is for application A <clears throat> now in this database we have multiple schema that is multiple table okay we have multiple tables like this right fine and in these tables we have relations okay so inside the database we have multiple tables now let's come to this table in a table now we have multiple columns okay so this is one record what what we talk okay or tuple we say each each row is called a called tuple okay so we have multiple records and these are attributes right header of the table you can say okay so this is attribute we have four attribute in this table okay and we have these are records okay so that's how database system are arranged fine now to start with or to start programming data to start database programming what you have to do is first of all we need to create a database right so first step would be creating database so first of all what we will do is we will create database so to create database what is the command so it's very simple we write create database and then name of the database so in our case what is the name of database to underscore IMDB okay and then semicolon so this will create a database for you fine now multiple databases are there and you have included another database that is take to date take to IMDB on your database server fine so now before you start using this database or start programming on this database what you need to do you need to say your computer system that hey I want to use this database system okay so to do that you need to specify that I want to use this database system okay so for that the command is use and database name so in our case it will be okay so now the database will be changed we are operating on this database fine it will say the database has been changed and you are using this database fine so this is to use this database now let's say what I want is I want to delete my database okay so my database server is over flooded with databases and what I want is I want to delete some databases so what I'll do simply I'll use drop database database name okay so command uh, what I want to do is delete database and for that what we will do drop drop database and then database name so in our case IMDB okay so it will drop this database it will delete this database from your database server fine so here I am logged into my SQL terminal okay and now I can start giving commands so first first of all what we have learned is 
create database okay so to create database what we need to do supply this command okay create database database name so create So the database is created and it has taken 0, 0.00 second. I mean almost no time. Fine. Now what we need to do, we need to see whether my database which I just created has been created or not. Okay. So to see or to list down the databases on this SQL server, what we will do? We will show sorry. Show databases. So see here take to underscore imdb has been created okay great now what we need to do we need to uh, to perform extra operations that is to create schema or to use this database what we need to do is we need to use this database see so it says database changed okay now you are inside this database okay so whatever now query you will perform it will perform over this tick to underscore imdb database so what i want to do is let's list down the number of tables or the tables inside this tick to underscore imdb database so what we'll do again show tables so empty set because we have just created database we have not created any tables inside the database so it will say empty set okay so it means that we don't have any schema inside our database fine now what i want to do is i want to delete this database so to delete this database what i'll do So to delete, we will type drop database database and then database name. Fine. So it has dropped the database. Now whether our database has been dropped or not to see what we will do, we will list the databases on the server. So once we list down the names of name of databases, we can see that tech underscore IMDB is missing. It means it has been deleted. Fine. So this was all about what we wanted to learn in this lecture. Now in next lecture, we will create schema inside the databases. Okay. So as we have deleted, but meanwhile, what you will do is you will create database again because in the next lecture or next illustration, we will be creating a schema inside that database. Okay. So see you in the next lecture. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and you want us to create more such videos, please don't hesitate to like, share and subscribe to TechTut.